very few people have ever been in an old growth forest. Very few people have ever seen such ancient trees where your head literally has to be as far back as it possibly can to even begin to see the canopy of that tree. Like it's just the scale and the the impact of that feeling of being in that space. It's just absolutely incredible and there's just so little left. People are protesting at Ferry Creek because they don't see any other way of trying to protect some of these remaining old growth forests. We're not seeing any leadership in any of these situations on the part of the provincial government. I don't think that anybody would willingly choose to go and camp in the rain, uh, chain themselves to concrete blocks, uh, get arrested by the RCMP if they thought that there was any other option. The time that we're in right now is, is so escalated with the level of urgency. There's just so few little resources left. We really have no time left with the climate crisis. The old growth forests in British Columbia are among the most magnificent old growth forests uh, on the globe. And they blanketed an awful lot of British Columbia prior to the start of industrial logging. So we have an awful lot of species in British Columbia that are adapted to the structure and composition of old growth forests and can't find a home in second growth forests. There needs to be a moratorium on old growth logging. There's just absolutely no way that there can be any justification for logging old growth in these ancient forests in a time like this. The biggest obstacle probably is inaction on the part of the provincial government. What makes it doubly frustrating for me and for some others, I think, is that they went so far as to commission an old growth panel the report they produced indicates very clearly how we ought to be proceeding on issues around old growth forests. They promised to implement all of the recommendations in the excellent report, and they haven't. 